Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Prop House. On today's episode, we are going to be making Ghost Masks from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. So let's get right into it. For this build, we're going to be using this 3D printed mask, files for which can be found in the description below. We're also going to be using this Ghost Balaclava. So let's start off with some sanding. With the initial sanding complete, the next stage is to apply the filler slash primer. And for those of you who commented on the last video, I finally got a respirator, so I can spray myself in the face all I want. Now that the priming's done, it's time for more sanding. Alright, for this next part, I need to run to the store and pick up some paints. Luckily I found a pretty quick and cheap way to do this. It involves using the mask as well as this. So take the mask and uh, just pull it over your face and then uh, use your hands to sort of smooth it out, uh, making sure that you're really flattening out the, your uh, facial features. After that, uh, just make sure that your P226 is loaded and you should be ready to go. Bad news, I did get the paint, but unfortunately Target does not accept 9 mil as a form of currency, so I ended up having to go to Walmart. Now that we have all of our supplies gathered, the next thing we're going to do is move on to painting the mask. We're going to start off here with some light ivory paint. Uh, this will give the mask a nice older bone type color, and we're just going to take that paint and just start applying it all over the mask. And don't forget to wash your brushes. And with that, we have this beautiful white skull mask. But next, we need to move on to the detailing. In order to do the detailing, what we're going to do is create a wash. Uh, we can do this just by taking some black acrylic paint and mixing it with water to thin out the paint. Once we have this mixture, we're just going to take it and then brush it over the entirety of the mask, with putting particular focus on areas where there are either cracks or crevices. Now let's shift focus to the balaclava. The first thing that we need to do with the balaclava is paint over this upper portion of the skull. That way the only part that we'll have left is the bottom jaw, which should match up perfectly with our mask. In order to do this, what we're going to just do is take some black acrylic paint and just paint over the entire area of the upper skull portion. Take the mask and leave it on a stick in order to dry. Once the balaclava is dry, the next thing we need to do is paint the bottom jaw portion. For this, we're going to be using the same light ivory uh, paint. This way, when we put the two pieces together, the colors will match. Finally, we're just going to apply a quick wash over the balaclava. This way, it'll match better with the rest of the mask. We have now reached the final stage of the process, which is going to be putting the two pieces together. The first thing that we need to do is take a piece of black cloth and put it on the inside of the nose area of the mask. In order to do this, what we're going to do is just cut out a small piece of black cloth from a bandana I got and then we are just going to take some hot glue and use that to glue the piece into the inside of the mask. All right, so now that the middle piece is attached, the next thing that we're gonna need to do is drill the holes. What we're going to do is drill holes all along the top and the two sides of the mask. This way, we will be able to easily sew the mask onto the balaclava. For drilling the holes, you want to drill about 8 to 6 equally spaced holes on each of the sides of the mask. Once these holes are drilled, the next thing we can do is move on to attaching the mask to the balaclava. For this, I had originally purchased this nice styrofoam head in which I was planning on just, you know, holding the mask here and then uh, sewing it through. 
However, uh, I found that because of the way that the head is shaped relative to my own head, um, it just wasn't really working out and the needle just kept getting stuck in the styrofoam and the whole process was just, just it was just not working. So what we ended up doing was just doing it basically the by hand method of just laying the mask on the ground and using these pieces of tape as sort of reference points and sewing it manually by hand. With the two pieces now sewed together, the next step was to do the two white lines. For this, I just used a foam brush to apply two white lines roughly where I wanted them. And then I went back in with just a regular brush to sort of clean up those lines and make them look as accurate as possible to the in-game counterpart. So we're just about uh, done here. Just need to fill in a couple of these little areas with a little bit more white. And then we should be... Did you guys hear something? Sergeant, let's kill the power. Put these guys in the dark. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's just some neighbors or something. Anyway, so we're just about done. Oh, 